Hi everyone, today I'm excited to show you the iTheme Security Dashboard. It's a brand new way for you to manage and monitor the security of your site. Now the security dashboard uses what we like to call security cards. It, um, what security cards do, they pull information out of the security logs and break them down a little bit to make them bite-sized and a little bit easier to consume chunks of data. Um, now think about a baseball card. A baseball card is only going to have information about the player on the front of the card. Likewise, the uh, security cards are only going to have information that is re relevant to that card. Um, so without further ado, let's take a quick look at the security dashboard to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. Now, after you enable the security dashboard in your settings, the first thing that you're going to see um, is the uh, create a board screen. Now, you can either start a um, board with the default security layout or you can start one completely from scratch. Now, uh, since this is going to be our first board, let's go ahead and um, um, enter a name, which I pre-entered my first board, and then click the Create Board button. Now, we'll give that a little, uh, little bit of time to populate the new cards for us. And now that the uh, dashboard is created for us, the first thing that we're going to see over here on the right is going to be the Edit Cards menu. Now, this is where you're going to add or remove cards to the security dashboard. For example, if I don't want the 404 detection uh, card on my board, I can click that X right there and remove it. But if I want to add it back over to there, all I need to do is click the plus sign to get it back on my board. Now the next thing that I want to um, kind of go over here is how you move a card. The great thing about the security dashboard is going to be completely customizable for you so you can make the adjustments to have it be exactly the dashboard that you want. So uh, let's grab this band users card because I, I really kind of want that at the front and I kind of want to group that with my lockouts. And then let's go ahead and find my brute force protection um, card and move it over here. And you know what, I'm going to want this brute force protection card a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make it wider. It's going to make it a little bit longer. And then as you can see, you can adjust the cards and resize them and move them and place them on the board uh, to get them exactly where you want them. Now, after you perfect your board, you're probably going to want to share it so other people can see it. Because as it stands right now, the only person that can see your board is you. So you can click this uh, Share Dashboard button and you can see that you can have the option to choose uh, an individual user to share the dashboard with, or you can select that you want this board to be available for all admin users. Once you make your decision, just click the share button. And now the next time they log in, any admin user on this site will be able to view this board. Um, uh, another quick thing that you might want to know is you can have multiple boards. So uh, you can manage your dashboards right here and then switch between whatever dashboard that you want and then uh, you can also change which dashboard is your primary dashboard. Now let's go ahead and view my primary dashboard real quick by clicking the view button. And then we can see that I switched over from the um, uh, new dashboard to this one that I had previously created. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. But I am including a link in the description that's gonna cover uh, what you can expect to see on every card and a little bit more detail about how to uh, set up the dashboard and make it work for you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're gonna be coming out with a lot more videos about all things WordPress. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on that. So hey, thanks guys, have a great day.